Who doesn't love some good portal chatter? I do. Here's a move that uh, you should be aware of. Dylan Edwards is going to Kansas State. So Edwards was a four-star recruit, one of the crown jewels from the high school ranks for that 2023 class for Coach Prime and company, and he hit the transfer portal, and he's going to Kansas State. And they now have the best backfield in the entire Big 12. Because DJ Giddens, who ran for, how many yards do you think he ran for last year? How many? Ask yourself that question. The answer is over 1,200 yards. So you know you've got one running back who's good. You bring in Dylan Edwards, who was going to play a little bit more wide receiver at Colorado this year if he had stuck around. So you now bring in a versatile weapon, but a guy who can be in the backfield for you as well and has got explosive breakaway speed. I don't see a backfield in the Big 12 that is better than these two guys. Where else can you say you have someone with a ton of untapped potential, well, minorly tapped into potential, and a 1,200-yard rusher? And oh, by the way, this is not just the best backfield. This might be the best overall rushing attack in the Big 12 and one of the best in the country. Kansas State is the number two favorite, according to our friends at FanDuel, behind Utah to win the Big 12. And this backfield's a big reason why. Remember, Avery Johnson, who took over for Will Howard kind of at the end of last year as they phased him out, he ran for almost 300 yards in wildcat duty. What's he going to do as a starting quarterback? He's probably going to run for a lot of yards. And remember, when Kansas State won the Big 12 a couple of years ago, beat TCU, who played in the national championship game. Now, let me think. Who, who was on that team? Oh, yeah, this guy named Deuce Vaughn. Chris Kleiman wants to run the football, and he has got the most dynamic, explosive, and versatile backfield that he has had during his time in Lawrence. So that is the best backfield in the Big 12. Really, really good pickup there by the Wildcats to get Dylan Edwards, to go with DJ Giddens, to pair with the legs of Avery Johnson. Kansas State, second in the Big 12 for championship odds. They are deserving of that particular title. A couple other transfers to be aware of. So USC has been known to use the transfer portal from time to time. I think they've done so with a really high level of success. Most recently on defense, they added Greedy Vance from Florida State. They've made other notable moves like Easton Mascarenas, Arnold, Achille Arnold, Kamari Ramsey, and, and several others who are going to make an impact this year. But they've brought in two receivers here. Now, one of which is kind of hilarious, and I'll get to that in a moment. But they bring in Jay Fair from Auburn who's played over there for the last couple of seasons. And this is someone who is going to continue solidifying the wide receiver room for USC. And if you're Miller Moss going into your first year as a starting quarterback for the Trojans, which is the, the widely held expectation here, I think Jaden Mayab is good, but he's going to be the backup to Miller Moss. Will Howard didn't go to USC. He went to Ohio State. Why? Because Miller Moss was there. And Miller Moss, as is often the case with Lincoln Riley teams, is not going to be short on weapons. He's going to have an abundance of weapons. You're going to have Jay Fair. You're going to have other guys who, who were already on the team from last year. But did you see who returned to USC? So, <laughs> you know those generic transfer portal posts that players put out? I'd like to thank God. I'd like to thank my coaches, the fans, the community, blah, blah, blah. With that said, I'll be transferring, or I'm in the transfer port and all that sort of stuff, right? It's very cookie cutter for the most part. Well, Kyle Ford is not cookie cutter, and he went to UCLA. He's a class of 2019 recruit, five-star according to according to 24-7 sports, highly rated four-star in the 24-7 composite. This is a guy who's played a lot of college football, has good size and immense talent, and he's going back to USC. He announced it by just saying, quote, I was tripping, end quote. I, I got to give him props. I, I mean, that might be I'm trying to think if there was a better one. I don't know that there is one. That might be my favorite portal announcement of all time. I, I, I cannot get enough of I was tripping. <laughs> he went to UCLA. Even though UCLA beat USC last year, USC is going to be a much better team than UCLA in, in 2024. I, I would... I would bet that the battle for Los Angeles, you know, that classic Big Ten showdown is going to be USC by at least 15 to 20 points. At least. At least, I, I would think. So Kyle Ford and Jay Fair are joining the Trojans wide receiver room, solidifying once again after they had guys depart via the portal and off to the NFL draft. Lincoln Riley's going to have weapons. They're, they're not going to be lacking 
on that front. And look, they lost a number of guys from last year. Dorian Singer went to USC. Michael Jackson the third, he's not in that room anymore. Or was it Taj Washington? One of the two. Memory, there's so many players in the transfer portal and whatnot. But you got uh, Brendan Rice off to the NFL, Dorian Singer at Utah. Like you, you had a lot of guys go out of that room, but now they've brought guys into that room. USC is going to be just fine. They're going to have the weapons. It's going to come down, I think, to Miller Moss and the offensive line as well, which was sneaky kind of bad last year for the Trojans. So watch for that to see if it's improved. But certainly, they're not going to be they're not going to be lacking for weapons. And I trust Lincoln Riley to to score a lot of points. Here's the name to keep your eye on: Sam Brown. So Sam Brown is someone who I've mentioned on the show before, wide receiver from Houston, guy who the Cougars. We're not happy to see go. We're actually lamenting that he left because Sam Brown is someone who can be not necessarily a number one, but certainly a viable weapon. And who are we talking about earlier in today's show? That's right. We're talking about Miami, the Miami Hurricanes and the offense that they have. And yeah, maybe they need a couple more pieces, though they've been adding them as we also discussed on on defense as well. But Cam Ward, Damian Martinez, you got guys like Xavier Restrepo, Restrepo on the outside for, for the Hurricanes. Sam Brown is reportedly going to commit to Miami. Now, this has not been made official yet, so you can't celebrate it just yet, Hurricane fans. What you can do is say, hey, if we go get one of the top wide receivers in the transfer portal right now, how are we not looking to make a push for the college football playoff? Because when you have brought in all the talent, like Cam Ward was one of the top quarterbacks available. Damian Martinez, probably the best running back that has changed teams. Sam Brown, one of the top receiver options currently in the transfer portal in this spring window. I just wonder, I, I just wonder at what point do Miami fans look at the guys they've brought in? It's year three for Mario Cristobal. At what point do you just go, Oh, you should be contending for an ACC title and a college football playoff spot. It doesn't mean if you don't win the ACC or if you don't make the playoff, it's a failure of a season. But they should be in the running. At the If you come up just short a game late at the end of the year, that's one thing. But when you've put this much into the team, both financially and the caliber of guys that you've invested with those finances... I think expectations should be pretty high. And if they go get Sam Brown, it's just going to be another weapon for Cam Ward to have at his disposal. And that offense with, with a Mario Cristobal and Alex Mirabal coached offensive line could be one of the best in the ACC. And I wouldn't be surprised if they can be a better team than Clemson if they're able to put it all together. But that does not mean I'm down on the Tigers. It just means I think Miami is doing a lot of really, really good things. Appreciate everyone listening. I will see you next time. And until then, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.